That's good, you lot. So, oh yeah, um, in case you lot keep forgetting, I'm not doing my intro until we hit 4k, so if you miss my intro, tell your people to subscribe and all that. Oh, so I just wear my mask. Tell your people to subscribe and all that. Otherwise, you're just gonna wait with no intro until we hit 4k. We could literally hit 4k right now, it's just that people just don't want to subscribe, but it's okay, I'm not, I'm not irritated. Anyway, if you see the title, I'm going to be talking about my review on my mom and Tracy V. I've been contemplating whether I should do this video or not, and I just thought, let me just do it. I'm not somebody that cares about the views, like it's so obvious, if I don't do hair videos, or any video that's going to get me exposure then i'm just not gonna get views just as long as i know if somebody's watching it like if 100 people watch it like that's 100 people but you know how much 100 people is some people don't even get 20 views when they post videos so i appreciate it either way but if you're american this isn't really going to like apply to you or this video just won't make any sense to you so you can kindly leave if you want to but if you're from the uk you know, about two weeks ago from now, everybody was hyping up this new series on CBBC called My Mom and Tracy Beacon, bro. And everyone was hyping it up. I was hyped myself, I'm not gonna lie, because if you don't already know, well, come on, like, if you were in the UK, if you are born in the UK, I don't know, around the early 2000s or even earlier than that, you grew up watching Tracy Beacon. Even if you grew up in the late 2000s, actually no, because you, you lot are dumping ground people. You, you lot aren't the OGs, you know? I'm not gonna lie, I liked dumping ground until it died out a bit. So yeah, everyone was hyping up for this series, especially like older people, people in their late teens or in their 20s, because, you know, Tracy Beaker has been an OG show. Like, even when I was growing up, I was watching it a lot with like my auntie. My auntie's young, so relax. And my cousin as well. It, it was just a thing where I just already had it inherited in me, as well as many other people in the UK. If you watch that first episode, <laughs> I can tell you. I, I, I would be surprised if you didn't really cringe. <laughs> I would be surprised if you didn't really cringe, because I there were some bits where I was watching, I was just like, mm, I can't watch this. Like, like second-hand embarrassment, but it's not. Like, the, the some of the some scenes were a bit cringy to me and i was just like uh, you know but i'm not saying it's bad acting or anything but i do think there were some things that could have been turned down a bit but so much people expected this to be like some high drama series like in netflix or bbc3 but you lot have got to understand or not even that many people just don't understand that it's supposed to be a kids show it's on cbbc for a reason you know so obviously they're gonna have those little moments where they can't really do certain things because again it is a kids channel it is a kids tv program so i think people forgot about that and they were a bit too overhyped and people were getting disappointed but Come on, like, what, what else did you expect? Because I'm not going to lie, even though people are getting hyped, I was just like, come on, it's, it's a TV program for kids. They're not going to go over the top with the acting, man. Like, chill out. It was nice seeing Tracy Beaker come back. It was nice seeing Justine back. It was nice to see their little feud. With Tracy Beaker's child, I, I forgot her name. <laughs> I don't even remember the child's name anymore, bro. I just think they should have turned down some of her lines and stuff like that. A lot of the time when she was speaking, she was shouting a lot. And I understand, like, she didn't really like certain things that were happening, but the way she was acting was just like, come on, guys, you lot could have done better with this. Come on, now. I don't want to make it seem like she's a bad actor or anything, which she's not. But I'm just saying there are parts where she didn't have to shout so much, you know? Because most of the parts where she was speaking, it felt really cringy. Like, I, I was cringing so much. To be fair, I, I think I'm going to watch the episode again just to get a better, like, or put, just to get a better or proper understanding on the show or just, you know, watch it properly without cringing. Because the first time I watched it, I was watching it with my little brother. I'm going to be so real, I didn't finish watching it. Like, I was, like, 20 minutes in. I, I don't even know how long the episode was. 20, 15 minutes in. And I was just, like, I, I can't watch it anymore. Because I was cringing so much. Like, it was, it was kind of weird. And also, another thing was, I recognised in the school scenes. Come on, if you watch 4 o'clock club, 
You know for a fact that I was the old school in four o'clock club that they were using though. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit disappointed with that. But then again, I was thinking, you know what? It is lockdown, it is COVID. That's they, what, what other option did they have, bro? Like, where else could they have gone to? I'm gonna be so real, they made an effort with this episode, so I, I do, I, I can't say I'm like majorly disappointed. Once again, like, we should have expected that it was going to be at this level of acting because obviously it's a kid's program so they're not gonna go overboard i will say this though if it was a thing where they were bringing it back on i don't know bbc3 then i would be disappointed with this episode because it's bbc3 we're expecting things to go over the top they could have brought back other characters like mike bouncer oh my gosh i i haven't watched that either. I haven't watched those episodes in years, bro. Like, I forgot the other guy's name, but he, he's like an OG, like one of the other OGs as well. And he's the care worker as well. But they, they could have at least brought them back just for a little, you know, they could have even made the effort to bring Matt back. Because I know he left the um, dumping ground. I knew, and I'm so irritated because I still haven't seen the episode to where he's left the dumping ground. I didn't even know that he's left. That's how you know I stopped watching the dumping ground because I, I don't know what it is, but it's just straight away so much from the original Tracy Beaker or dumping ground feel towards the series. So I, I don't know. It's just not the same anymore, pretty much. I remember when people like Tyler... First row in the dumping ground, T, Johnny, like, I watched the first episodes when they joined and the fact that they've left, like, the fact that I've watched all episodes to the point where they've left, it's just like, bro, <laughs> I, I think I've outgrown this show now, because look, I, I'm 18 this year, bro, like, <laughs> look at this, imagine me, someone like me turning 18. But anyway, that's my little review on this, I don't want this to be too long, because I, I, like I said, I'm going to probably watch the episode again. Now that I've reminded myself to watch it because I've been so busy lately. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you're new. Welcome to the Afro-Gene gang, man. Hit that subscribe button. Let's hit 4K so I can do my intro again. Because my intro is getting dusty now. I, I don't know where it's been. I can't find it. I literally just woke up and I decided to do this video because it just ran back on my mind. But um, yeah, uh, I'll catch you lot in the next one. Stay safe and in a bit. Please subscribe. Please, please.